Welcome to Malta Airport. Now Malta is a very small airport. When you get off the plane you actually go down the stairs on a, on a plane that the plane doesn't actually go to the terminal and there's not any bus to take you. You simply just get off the plane and walk across over to the terminal. As you can see, the people across the road there, they're waiting to probably get on the flight that I've just got off. Um, so it's a very small airport. So you just follow the, uh, the, the path uh, across the road. There's lots of uh, security and uh, personnel there to tell you which direction to go. Uh, you get to the entrance uh, and once you are through into the uh, the airport terminal you continue straight ahead and right there you've got um, immigration so it's not a long walk to go uh, to get into the airport uh, and into immigration now this was uh, 9 p.m. so it was very quiet I don't know what it's like during the day but um, I was quite lucky that it wasn't too busy so once you've gone through immigration, then just follow the signs to the exit. Uh, here you've got people waiting, um, obviously you've got off a flight so they're, they're rushing to the toilet. Uh, keep heading straight ahead. Signposts are everywhere to the exit. And you turn slight left and go down the escalator. Now as you come down off the escalator, if you turn right, those are where all the luggage carousels are. So if you've got any uh, luggage to pick up, you need to turn right there. But I didn't have any luggage, just had my backpack. Uh, there you see the uh, customs officers uh, spying on people to make sure nobody bring you anything illegal or looking dodgy. Uh, and then just simply walk straight out of the airport. And once you've uh, exited through these doors, uh, you're in the airport now. And make note, once you've gone through these doors, you cannot go back. So this is where people will be waiting for you if you've got someone to pick you up. Now you've got uh, two choices or three choices to get from the airport to uh, the city. Uh, you've got somebody who can pick you up. Uh, you can take a taxi, or I guess you could also hire a car as well from the airport. Uh, just as you turn there straight ahead, you've got the car rental. Um, or you can take a taxi. Um, I decided to try the bus, uh, see if that was the easiest option. So uh, just as you uh, you've exit there, continue on straight, and you'll see signposts for taxis and the bus. So this is the direction you go if you want to also get a taxi. Considering it's uh, 9 p.m., there were quite a lot of people waiting inside. So just as you've passed WH Smiths, you turn left. And just there you can see where the sign says taxi. So you go through those doors just ahead of you and turn left. That'll take you to the taxis. Turn right and continue up this corridor. And that will take you to the bus terminal, well, the bus stop I should say, and there you can see the sign for bus service. So take a left there, and you've now exited the, the airport. So just cross the road onto the pathway in the middle of the street. It's like a dual carriage road, but the, the, the road goes in both directions, so just be mindful of that. So continue on to through this path and just ahead there you can see there is the bus stops so on the left the road is mainly for people who are dropping off or picking up and then on the right the road is for taxis so that's if you've ordered a bolt or <clears throat> or an uber they'll come on to that side of the road and not the one on the left where you can just see the bus go past uh, and this is the bus stop, so you wait here for your bus 
uh, you can see there is a timetable for all the buses that will come. Now, I found the buses to be pretty unreliable at this time. Uh, I had to wait a long, long time for a bus. It was almost an hour. Even though it said it'll be there in 20 minutes, it took over an hour to get there. So if you're in a rush, I would say just get a taxi. But if you've got time and you're on a budget, bus is the best option to get into the city.